Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Here we're going to use uh, the Microsoft documentation to try out our quick start guide to for creating a virtual network using a resource manager template. In the last three videos, we have tried out all three other options, uh, creating a virtual network from a portal using PowerShell and the CLI if you want to watch it. Uh, in this one, we're going to use ARM. ARM is a, a JSON file template that uh, really easy to read and pretty much anytime you deploy something uh, you will have this template that you can even download uh, for your own shake. For example, if we go in here um, okay, and then uh, go to our resource group, uh, the resource group will have all the deployments. Okay. And the deployment, uh, some will be uh, successful, some of them failed. You can redeploy. These are really a template file, and here you can go to the template and take a look at it. If you if you see, uh, this is the uh, JSON template that I'm talking about. You can add it to the library, download, or again, as I said, you can deploy it. You can modify some of the parameters as well. Now in this one, if you look at it, it is given us and it's asking us to review the template that we have. Here, uh, pretty much if you look at the schema and the content version, they are, you know, probably be, uh, you gotta have it. And then parameter section, you are defining a virtual network. And then you are defining, what else? You are defining a, a virtual address prefix, subnet prefix subnet one name subnet two prefix subnet two name looks like we're going to define two different subnets right and then uh, location uh, you can pick a location during the time of the deployment and then uh, what are the resources that we're going to deploy it's going to be the virtual network right you need a virtual network resource to deploy a virtual network makes sense and uh, here's some more properties where are you going to deploy it uh, what subnet and uh, some other properties over here okay and uh, the easiest thing to do here uh, you have a lot of templates that are available in Azure quick start template and if you click on it and go there you will see there are like hundreds of templates that are available out there and here vnet v11 vnet 2 subnet that's a template that we are gonna gonna deploy and if you just click over there uh, this is going to take you to the central main repository and what I would recommend uh, just fork it fork it and make it your own and just, just follow what is going on uh, right now I'm forking it it will be now will be available in my you know uh, repository as well right so I know and I'll be tracking what's going on with this anyway so over here uh, if you already you have this button for most of those uh, most of those um, quister templates so all you need to do is click on the deploy to Azure so if I click on this one you will see that it's gonna directly log me in inside the uh, my, my portal if I'm logged in it will even take me to this to the deployment page and it will open a, a deployment window where if I need to select anything else uh, that's what we need to do for here it's saying there was an error loading this file uh, ensure the template is publicly accessible and does not have any comments so let's look at it again so let's go back go back go back come on okay so let me just go back the other way Okay, so virtual, which one I was gonna gonna deploy? So let's uh, hold on. Oh, we are back to this page. So just making sure the other issues have been defined in the template. Okay, what I'll do instead of clicking on that one, I am gonna go to that. Uh, particular resource in here and take a look at it real quick this one looks okay so what was the problem in my deployment right I'm gonna try it one more time I try it one more time 
and this time I'll just open it in a new window sign in and see if I have if I'm getting the same error again come on Whatever reason is taking a little bit of time, maybe it's your is a little slow at the moment. Alright, I did see the same error message again. So it's saying that uh, this URL for some reason it thinks it's not publicly accessible or may not have uh, does not have any comments. So in this case, I'm just gonna click on this, build your own template, and try out my last thing, <coughs> which would be getting the template copying and, and putting in there so look at raw copy everything and over here under so what i did after getting this error you have the first link build your own template in the editor i clicked on that one and just put all of this stuff in here and then say save okay now it's giving me a window right so that's uh let's see if we can use an existing resource group I'll just use a new one, say arm v net. So that's our goal. We're using arm template, we want to create a virtual network. Right? <clears throat> so once we have that, everything else I can accept location. It's gonna pick up something from here. We have already provided. Just agree to the terms and condition and hit purchase. If the validation is successful, it will directly start the deployment. So what do you have learned in this video, which I have never really seen, like when you try to deploy, I never really seen this error that it's publicly accessible or not. But if you do see, uh, this is another way to solve your problem, get the template parameters, review it, make sure it makes sense, and build your own template. And now look at that, the template deployment is not successful. Now we can go to the resource. So arm vnet is a resource group that we have used inside this inside this resource group. Uh, let's refresh this. There should be a virtual network that's been created. So let's open it. If you open it, uh, we are gonna go. We'll, let's look at the address space. So ten zero 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 slash sixteen. That makes sense. And subnets. We expect two different subnets to be created, and we got everything the way we wanted. All right. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So there are hundreds of uh, uh, templates quick start templates that are, that are out there which are ARM templates and you can use them to quickly uh, create an environment that meets your your need so use them they're free for use so use your own benefit and save time so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe refer to your friends and leave your valuable comments so I can improve the way I'm doing these videos and happy learning as you thank you bye bye